to a beer nerd in amongst the warmer, heavier, thicker, orange-brown harvest flavors of the fall comes this brilliant flash of green, the hop harvest, and fresh hop beers. I could have just as easily started the uh, this beer singing, uh, it's the most wonderful time of the year. But uh, I decided to wax my own poetical instead. I have a fresh hot beer in my hands. Yay! Super happy about this. This was canned less than two weeks ago. 9-16 of 24. It is by Ecliptic Brewing Company, and it is a collaboration, a triangulum collaboration, so a three-way, from Bale Breaker, Ecliptic, and Ruse Brewing. Y'all who know, know that Bale Breaker is a favorite of mine. I don't know that I've had a Ruse Brewing beer before, but um, yeah, I'm really excited about this. So this is an IPA, a fresh hop IPA. Fresh hops are those hops that are fresh off the vine. They have not been baked or kilned or preserved any other way. They have simply been picked and thrown within a day or two at the most, within a day really, into the beer they are going to be um, used in. Because hops are flowers, right? I've said this before, and flowers go bad quickly. The good things about flowers fade quickly. You can't just stick them in water, stick their stems in water and expect them to stay. They're, you've picked the flower itself, all the nutrients are gone, the flower has served its purpose to the plant, the flower is going to die, right? So these hops are fading quickly. So they get them into the beer right away. And what that preserves is those beautiful essences that the hops produce right there, fresh. I mean, hops add tons of flavor and aroma and other character to beers after they've been kilned or cryopreserved nowadays, I guess, is a thing. Um, but think of a dried flower versus a fresh flower. And I'm not going to say that a dried flower is bad. A dried flower is plenty good. It can smell amazing and it can and its aromas and other benefits can be used for a long period of time, but it is different. It's different, right? So, these are the fresh flowers. These are the fresh hops. And what I get to the nose. Mmm, delicate verdancy. A um, little bit of citrus. But also, maybe some stone fruit. Possibly. A little bit of uh, mint. Maybe a little bit of lime. Just like a fresh flower, while the, the aroma is a little bit different, it also tends to be a little bit more delicate, whereas the drying process can intensify as well as change the flavors, the aromas. I expect fresh hop IPAs or fresh hop beers, beers made using fresh hops, to have a more delicate, not necessarily a lighter, but a more delicate, nuanced, more alive sort of aroma. And yeah, this would be... If I were looking at this same sort of aroma profile in a in a, a regular hot beer, I would be getting maybe some slightly heavier um, aromas, but in here they're they're light and they're suffused and they're they're really yeah they're light. Hmm, maybe some grapes, green fields, but like green in the late spring. Or, like I am here in the Northwest, after the rain comes back at the end of summer, when my grass decides, hey, it's time to grow again. When you have five acres, that counts for a lot. Mm, it smells good. Let's drink it.
Oh, this is a really enjoyable beer. Grapefruit. Lots of brilliant, beautiful grapefruit. Um, halfway between like the, the sweet rubies and maybe the more tart uh, white or yellow grapefruit. About halfway between. And it stops short of being like acidic. Instead, it has this nice kind of round melon body to it. As well as a spring herb character, rather than like the, the pine tree. It's more of a, like the, the light, the, the new growth at the end of the pine um, and along with like spring herbs, like a, a, a mild sage, um, maybe even a little bit of basil in there. There's this really nice balance of a subtle melon sweetness, a, a really beautiful and delicate and nuanced uh, uh, grapefruit tartness almost, and this herbal green verdant pine and herb, and herb garden um, kind of melange there. Really beautiful, really nice. So this beer features Simcoe, Centennial, and Strata hops. Um, they mentioned some berry and citrus and dank tropical notes. Yeah, maybe that's the, um, the herb garden that I'm picking up, the, those dank tropical notes. And the melon, yeah. That's quite nice, I like that a lot. So, I'm gonna post this video as quickly as I can. So probably next Friday morning, so the first Friday of October. I'm recording this in late September, the last Saturday in September. Um, because this is fresh hop season. If you watch this video and you're interested in fresh hops, what you need to do is you need to go to your local bottle shop. Costco might, like a, a big, uh, a retailer that, that cares about getting good quality product might have fresh hop beers. But in general, the, the places that sell the freshest cans of beer from the most local places are the places you're going to find the fresh hop beers. So if you live in the Olympia area, that's going to be Spuds or Northwest Beer Works as far as cans go. Or really any of the uh, tap rooms in the area that sell that also sell cans, they'll probably have a, a limited selection of fresh hop beers for can. Personally, I do prefer fresh hop beers in draft form on tap. Uh, and you drink them right there. A well cared for can, so from a good bottle shop, will be pretty much the same. But even as I say that, like in my experience, there is the subtlest of difference and maybe it's just the, the atmosphere. I like them from the tap rooms. But cans are cheaper than tap rooms, <laughs> let's be honest here. Um, and so you get them now, like this time of year, late September, early to mid-October, and you drink them now. Don't let them sit, right? I am going to be planning on finishing these four cans within the next two weeks. And I have one other that I'll be reviewing. Um, I might even just post two videos next week just, just because I want to make sure that, that y'all are aware of these because they are special beers. If you like IPAs, these are beautiful IPAs. If you aren't a fan of IPAs, look for a fresh hop pale ale instead or a fresh hop pilsner or give a fresh hop IPA a try because these nuances are or the, the, the what the, the fresh hops bring is lighter and subtler and kind of brighter and more floral, more like like live flowers, fresh flowers. The flavors are less intense. And so those things you don't appreciate about the IPA, the bracing bitterness, um, things like that, maybe the 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 rear the the weird dank funkiness, those things are really going to be tuned down and and rather replaced with brighter, lighter sorts of flavors and aromas. And so it's a really good way to explore what an IPA can be when made with 
slightly different ingredient. Personally, I think it's a good thing. But then again, I also like the dank, heavy, bitter IPAs, so that's me talking, right? I think it's just worth a try. If you have an opportunity to try it, it's a great way to try it. And they are special. You're not going to get these, these beers any other time of year. I mean, you might be able to find them on store shelves, but don't, right? Just don't, right? They are, they are fresh hops. They have to be drunk fresh and uh, enjoy them for what they are. As I will. Anyways, this is me. I have been drinking Ecliptic Brewing Company's Triangulum Collaboration with Bale, Bra- Bale Breaker and Ruse Brewing, their Solar Cycle Fresh Hop IPA. And I'll catch y'all on the flip side.